Hi guys, it's Jim again, Extreme Booters. Um, oops, excuse me, put my hand there. Um, today I'm in the town of Daventry in Northampton. Sure. Um, done my research. There's six or seven charity shops. I found my first one already, I'm just about to go in. Uh, see if we can do better than Coventry and Evesham or one. To be fair, we did pretty well at both of those. Um, so let's have a look around, see if we can find anything today. Let's go. Okay, yeah, Daventry. Um, I don't think I've ever been to Daventry before, but I have now. And I may well return. There was quite a few charity shops. It was really nice, actually, the town centre. Um, yeah, and there was quite a few charity shops. Um, pricing was reasonably high, to be fair. Um, but there was some good stuff, and I did pick up a fair few things. 15. I seem to be averaging around the 15. Obviously, the first day I picked up one thing. Commentary, I think I got 14, 15. Yesterday, Eastern, I got 13. I got 15 again today. So it seems to be my average sort of number. I mean, I'll take that. Obviously, over the four days, that's um, 45 items. Well, nearly 50 because I did get more in commentary. It's nearly 50 items that I've picked up um, to go on the shop and to, to keep stock coming in. So it's working really well for that. Um, didn't not going to make quite as much money um, today as I have um, in previous days. I think I spent around sixty pounds on the items today, and return after before fees etc. About two four five. Um, so still going to make one hundred and twenty one hundred and thirty pound profit. So I'll take that all every day if I'm earning that every single day. I'll, I'll easily take that. Um, but. Um, a mixture of stuff again today, quite a bit of clothing um, and a couple of interesting items and a couple of things I would never pick up without watching other people on YouTube. So uh, I'll quickly run through it. Got this rather nice Winnie the Pooh um, babushka dolls, I think they're called. There might be a different name for them. You know, the, the sort of thing, the different size um, figures in each one. In fact, just noticing there should be another one probably in there, but there isn't there. Um, so that's obviously going to affect my pricing. Um, picked it up because it's Disney, because it's different. Um, paid £2.50. Probably, well, not a huge amount of money in it. Um, probably somewhere around the tenner for it. But it's a nice item. Um, and yeah, well worth picking up. Um, quickly run through some of the clothing. Got this Jules um, Gurkhas Regiment Polo shirt sure. um so you can see the pricing is a bit more four pound fifty for that one um probably looking at 12 to 15 so there is a return but it's not uh huge this is a uh, golf finch hatton cashmere jumper really really nice really nice again same shop paid up for it uh, let's just check how much did i pay six pounds yeah, I thought that was going to be worth quite a bit more, but it's only worth about 15. Um, so that's a shame. Um, continuing on the golf theme, I'm presuming a golfer had just given in some stuff. This rather nice ping um, short sleeve waterproof top. It's a large. Um, that's £4.50. I pick them up all the time. Whenever I see anything like that, I'll pick it up. Um, return probably 15 to £18. So not too bad from £4.50. Um, and again, a golfing item. This is very nice indeed. Um, this um, sort of um, three uh, quarter zip waterproof wind top. But it's Oscar Jacobson. Um, really, really good brand. Really good condition. Again, it's a large. 
and that was six pounds again return on that around 15 to 20 um it's quality it won't hang it won't hang around long and that'll be sold um this puma ferrari um, polo shirt very nice wish that was my size because i'd wear that myself but it's only a large and obviously a medium um yeah uh, again paid up for that five quid overpaid it's not worth very much 10 to 15 so i'll probably go 12.95 in the middle there and get that gone um last piece of clothing well kind of is this crew clothing reefer jacket again really nice quality item that is large paid 9.95 for it um prices are a bit meh, meh, meh. at the moment obviously it's summer so not many people are buying coats but they seem to price seems to be creeping up over the summer that you're probably getting 2025 for it but now as it starts to get a bit colder people are going to start looking for coats might be able to push that up to around 40. um so yeah a good return there um not well kind of clothing but not and i always amuse um ricky lee over at ricky lee reseller check out his channel very good reseller because um i bought some more hats and obviously i have a very big head so they don't fit what is wrong with my head i presume that this one's for a child to be fair but this is for aj styles the phenomenal one wwe wrestler well, he's been all around all the different wrestling um, that one was three pounds and believe it or not that one there is one of these exact hats listed on ebay for 20 pounds plus postage so good return on that one then i found some other hats that nearly fits this is manor racing who were a formula one team um let me take that off i'm gonna adjust it i'm gonna show you that hats sometimes do fit me See, that one's not too bad. So yeah, Manor Racing, Formula Formula One Racing team, or, or used to be anyway, got four hats, all exactly the same, all brand new, unused, two pound each. I'll probably pitch them at around six pounds plus postage each. So make a little bit of money on those. Um, game that I've picked up in the past, Perudo, it's a dice game. Um, four pounds at the moment they're selling for around 12 um, but i'll probably keep that to a bit closer to christmas and i might be able to up that by about 15 16 pounds um, but worth picking up for four this grabbed me and i just love it um, it's a cricket bat as you can see but it's a duncan fernley 405 405 Graham Hick, the uh, former England cricketer, scored 405 runs for Worcestershire. I believe it was against Somerset way, way, way back when I was a lad. Um, and my friend actually had a 405, obviously a full size one. Um, beautiful bat, but this is just a, like a signature bat. So you take this along with you, unless you're obviously very, very tiny and play miniature cricket. You take this along with you and you get signatures on it. Um, paid two pound for it there's, there's none of these on ebay nothing like this i reckon i could probably get 15 for it because it's really cool if not i'm just going to keep that because it's just awesome love it Stu will know very well what i mean about the uh um loving 405s and one of our friends who had one memories awesome right something i would never pick up um, as I've said, um, but I've been seeing people buying more and more collectibles and things like that, and breakables, and I picked up these glasses. There's two sets. There's this bigger set and this smaller set. There's six glasses of each. They're by a company, or they're marked Luminark, France. So I checked it while I was in the shop, did a cheeky one on the phone. Um, you can see that they're worth between 10 to 15 pound a set um the big ones were two pound 45 random price for six and the small ones price is still on there one pound 95 for six so i thought yeah it's going to be a pain bubble wrap etc and a big box to wrap them in but the returns there so it was worth buying them the last thing i bought i need to give another thanks to another youtube channel and that is the global thrifters just started watching the channel it's brilliant i love it um yeah 
keep going guys it's really good i hope you see this but i saw on one of their recent videos um that they they buy um tiffany style lamp shades so i saw these two um on the top shelf this one's pretty much the same pattern but a bit bigger um i saw on their most recent video they bought a lamp at a car boot but said that they also sell um, the lampshades so when i saw these and saw the prices i thought Do you know what i'm going to take a punt i'm going to give it a try um, they were two pound for the smaller one and three pound fifty for the bigger one I'll tell you what maybe these work better as a hat no um so yeah um five pound fifty for the two um they are in good condition actually and they do need a good clean um but i'm not you know afraid of getting my hands dirty and getting them cleaned um, I've checked eBay, they'll sell for somewhere around 15, possibly 20 pounds each. So I'll definitely pick them up. Um, obviously I've learned that from a fellow YouTuber and I do thank them. Um, and I hope you pick up things from me and make money from me because that's the way uh, reselling works. That's why we do YouTube, to try and give people the upper hand if you like and uh, try to make as much money for them as possible. Um, so, you know, you see anything like that, pick it up. There's good money in it. So that's it for today. That was Daventry. Spent 60. Turnover should be around 250. So profit after the purchase. Take off the 60, 190, fees, etc. Blah, 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 120 pound pure profit. As I said earlier in the video, I'll take that every day of the week. I am not working tomorrow um at least i'm not doing these deliveries i will obviously be doing my ebay work um so tomorrow's going to be a mega listing day i've got to try and get all this stuff that i've picked up over the last first four days of this charity shop tour get it all listed get it on ebay and hopefully get some of it sold so next week i'm out and about again i know i'm in leicester one day i don't know where i am i'm not i don't get my like um schedule until tomorrow so i'm not exactly sure where i'll be but i'll be somewhere and i'll be finding charity shops i'll be going in there and buying stuff and i will be making money on ebay i hope you have a great week yourselves i hope your sales are good i will see you soon on the next video bye for now guys please like please subscribe see you later